Welcome to the Cisco Open SDN Controller Product Training Series. This is the Developer Support Overview video. As a developer, you are either considering, or are already using, the Cisco Open SDN Controller to integrate business applications or add network functions for more effective network and device management. The Open SDN Controller is a commercial distribution of open daylight that delivers business agility through automation of standards-based network infrastructure. Today, we are introducing you to the tools and support available to you when you are working with the Cisco Open SDN Controller platform. The Open SDN Controller on Cisco DevNet is an online developer community that provides access to a complete suite of REST and Java APIs, developer sandbox lab services, Practical tutorials and sample applications that demonstrate the ways that you can develop new controller functionality, and, controller documentation, including design and reference guides. Now for a closer look at DevNet and the OpenSDN controller community. You can access the community on our developer website, available at developer.cisco.com. When you log in, on the Browse menu, Networking submenu, under the heading Software Defined Networks, click Cisco Open SDN Controller. The homepage provides access to an overview of Open SDN Controller, the Community Support Forum, a Developer Sandbox, and to open cases for technical assistance. Videos that introduce you to controller concepts and capabilities are available here. And you can sign up to receive early field trials of beta APIs. Also, you can browse our blog for articles on the latest features and technologies. To better understand what the tools can provide during development, it is helpful to recognize OpenSDN controller architecture, available by clicking the Overview or Discover links. The OpenSDN controller overview page provides you with details about and a diagram of the platform architecture. Let's take a closer look at the platform architecture. Application Program Interfaces, or APIs, are key to integrating new functionality. The system uses northbound and southbound REST APIs to integrate business applications with network devices. The northbound APIs support the capabilities to monitor and modify the network and its devices. The southbound APIs provide the direct interfaces to protocols, such as NetConf. To add custom controller capabilities and network functions, you use the Java APIs, which are organized in the service abstraction layer. Now, let's look at the learning, development, and support tools that are available to you. If you are just starting out, let me introduce you to the Learning Lab, which you can access on the Learn menu. Currently, the Cisco Open SDN Controller Learning Lab, available free of charge, steps you through accessing the controller. Then, you can work with the controller to learn more about various aspects of it. The lab also provides an interactive scenario on how you can use Python to interact with the controller. On the Learn menu, you can also access the Sandbox Get Started demonstration. This page instructs you on how to prepare for the demonstration, which steps you through system setup, and different aspects of this product in a Cisco Sandbox environment. We will introduce you to other features available using Cisco Sandboxes shortly. In the Try It Now area, the community also offers interactive tutorials. On the Documents menu, you can access the following for your reference before and during development. The Northbound REST APIs Online Reference Guide. The Network Services Design Guide Tutorial with Yang Model Examples. The Network Services Java APIs Overview. Packages and details. The southbound interface guide for configuring southbound features, such as OpenFlow or NetConf. The installation guide for prerequisites, installation instructions, and post installation tasks. And the security guidelines for security suggestions and best practices. When you want to learn more about the types of functionality that you can develop and gain insight into developing that functionality, Download the sample applications, available on the Downloads menu. And when you are ready to start developing applications or testing those you have written, you can use the DevNet Sandbox Remote Access Lab services, available on the Sandbox menu. 
the labs offer a convenient, cost-effective way to evaluate the functionality that you develop, or to learn more about the tool, and include the always-on labs, available continuously on demand, the reservation-based labs, available on a scheduled basis when you need to work in a discrete environment, and the demo labs, available anytime that you want to work through a step-by-step -step guided API demonstration. Both labs include virtual and physical hardware with the ability to simulate traffic. And, lab architecture, configuration, and hardware support completion of Cisco Interoperability Verification Testing, or IVT. Completing this fee-based test demonstrates the interoperability of your application software or features with Cisco Technologies. When testing is successful, you can obtain and display the Cisco-compatible logo to indicate the interoperability status. When you could use a little help or insight, start or join a discussion on the Community Support Forum. Participating in the forum is a great way to get your questions answered quickly or to find out what other developers are doing. And when you open the support page, you can get fee-based technical assistance from Cisco by submitting a support ticket. And we here on DevNet welcome your feedback on using the site. We are always improving, and your suggestions will help us to support you more effectively. If you are considering working with, or already using, the OpenSDN controller, we recommend that you become a member of our community and take advantage of the tools and support that you can find here. For those of you with a Cisco login ID and password, you can log in by using the link on the banner. When you need to obtain a Cisco login ID, you can register with us here. Note that to access the learning labs, sandboxes, APIs, and other tools, you need to be registered with Cisco. Now that we have introduced you to the OpenSDN controller on Cisco DevNet, take advantage of it soon.